training data for natural language models uh, is as spoils, right? So if we think about um, about the giant corpus of uh, you know of everything that we can find online that can that can be used to train a language model, um, you know those are the cultural treasures, if you like. I mean, it's you know whether whether it looks like like um, like just flotsam and jetsam or it looks like cultural treasures, I guess is a matter of perspective, but you know it's the visible part. And these language models are trained, uh, you know, on those things, and then they reproduce uh, in in very much the Walter Benjamin sense, you know, certain aspects of that culture. But what they carry forward, uh, you know, is is a very partial view. Uh, you know, not all languages are represented equally in that corpus. Not all life ways are represented equally in that corpus. Not all kinds of people are represented equally in that corpus. And and so, you know, we should be, you know, this this gets into ML fairness sorts of issues, right? We should be viewing with with a level of critique. And skepticism, you know, who is represented there? What